Here on the SMT, we do all things connectivity. We do mobility, right? Traditional mobile network operators, the wireless carriers. We do home internet too. All right, so I got news for you guys here today. This story from Fierce Wireless, Diana Govertz. Starry seeks to test millimeter wave gear in nearly two dozen cities. Oh man, another option for people. This is great. Let's take a look here. It says here that they're looking to boost bandwidth capabilities with new dual band equipment that will combine unlicensed 6 gigahertz airwaves with licensed millimeter wave. Okay, that sounds awesome. All right, let's take a look here. Fixed wireless broadband provider Starry shedding some light on looks like some kind of roadmap for testing, they're trying to get permission for testing millimeter wave prototypes in 22 cities. This including more than a dozen where it doesn't currently offer service today. So that would mean this is going to expand to a lot more places, get to more people. That's exciting. 240 prototype end user devices running on spectrum between the following millimeter wave frequencies. They got 37 and 38.6 gigahertz. In the filing, the cities that were named Boston, New York, well, New York City, Los Angeles, D.C., Denver, Atlanta, Cleveland, oh yes, Cleveland, Chicago, Dallas, Detroit, Houston, Indianapolis, Manchester, Memphis, Miami, Minneapolis, Philly, Phoenix, Portland, San Francisco, Seattle, and Sioux Falls. Okay, so that's coming for testing your way, which means they'll, things work out. It's going to be, these will be the first places they launch. Very exciting here. Glad to see Cleveland there because then I could pop, uh, possibly test it and uh, get my hands on it. All right, looking to cover 40 million households across the U.S. They reach a total of 5.3 million at the end of last year. Okay, all right, so they're going to be looking to receive permission to do that from the FCC. It says here, increasing the number of base stations and customer terminals will allow Starry to continue to test millimeter wave propagation in the 37 gigahertz band. To give you guys perspective, Verizon operates 39 gigahertz. I think T-Mobile has licenses there uh, in some places, and so does AT&T. I know that AT&T and Verizon both have it here in Cleveland. I think T-Mobile's might be 28. I'm not sure. I have to take a look at that. But anyways, uh, they're looking at testing multi-user MIMO, point-to-point, multi-point technologies. The, the, the fixed wireless access game has so much potential. You run fiber, you get these really high capacitive circuits, and you can build some pretty robust millimeter wave point-to-point fixed wireless access services. I think this is also something that T-Mobile and Verizon should be looking into to deliver these fiber-like experiences like I covered in my last video on this matter. So uh, currently, download speeds range between 50 megabits to 1 gigabit per second. I like the 1 gigabit per second situation there. And if you can get your uplink speeds to be like one-third to one-half of that, you got yourself a fiber-like experience. So this is pretty cool. Uh, very excited about this, but let me actually jump to this next story. Uh, this one from Wow. If you guys know about the regional broadband cable provider, home internet provider, uh, Wide Open West, uh, they're exploring strategic options, possibly selling their company. The Colorado-based provider has like, I think, two million locations crossed in fourteen markets in the country. Uh, they only have like a half a million customers at this point. But it looks like investors and private equity firms are looking at them as a potential buying option. Uh, their stock price even jumped, according to this report, even though WOW denied any comment. So they didn't speak on it. But uh, they actually have a ton of greenfield fiber projects that they're working on. I reported on some of these already. I know there were some in Florida. and But at the same time, they've been selling assets. They sold like the, uh, I think they sold the uh, Columbus and Cleveland markets recently. I, I but like they're they're an attractive buy right when when you got fiber projects going on and you've got network building projects going on you catch the eye of people because these assets are valuable and they already have pre-existing infrastructure and footholds in a lot of markets so they're they're it makes sense actually this is probably going to happen where there's smoke there's fire so what do you guys think of the wow situation you think they're going to sell you think they're looking to sell you think it's going to work out for them it's a perfect time to go out right now. <laughs> You're probably going to get the best value you would for selling than any other time. And then the starry news with their millimeter wave gear. You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more. And turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. And then there's links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. And then you also have links to my email and Twitter. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.